Hello my dear friends, how are you? My name is Ari Therger and today I'm going to talk a little about this book right here. Icelandic Magic for Modern Living. Well, it's not just about this book. The reason why I chose to make a video about it is because my next video will be about Icelandic magical staves. And I want to try to avoid one very common mistake when it comes to the knowledge involving such magical signs. A couple of months ago I have done videos about the Icelandic magical staves. There was a lot of feedback on your part and I received loads of questions and private messages from, your, from you asking about magical staves. Most wanted to know the meaning of a particular magical stave, if it was appropriate to make a tattoo out of it, and in which part of the body. So most of your concerns were related with tattooing the symbols on your body. Surprisingly, a lot of you showed me magical staves that I had never seen before. You see, most magical staves were lost and nowadays we are restricted to perhaps 300 or so rune staves. So it comes to the point that you know them all. Uh, you immediately recognize them when you see them, uh, just like knowing old Pokemons. But the signs you showed me I had never seen before. So I've made a quick research and I came to the conclusion that the magical staves you were presenting me were actually modern inventions uh, created for tourists in Iceland, printed in all sorts of merchandise to take home as souvenirs. Uh, it's an interesting and funny way to keep an important historical background alive and recreate symbols for our modern needs. The problem is, those do not have any magical uses, no sacred geometry and no religious symbolism. Purely modern creations with similar designs to the real magical staves, but only with the intention to, of being funny, amusing, just for entertaining purposes. So, I got this book, and not surprisingly, it contains most of the magical staves you were showing me. Now, I have nothing against this book, it's a very funny book, it is what it is, and for the purpose it serves, it's actually really smart. This book is to criticize modern Iceland, which can very well be applied to any other country. It criticizes corruption in politics, economic crisis, our social behaviors, the advantages and disadvantages of globalization, etc and the author of this book being Icelandic and criticizing Iceland does all this criticism in a very funny way by evoking the historical past of Iceland when it comes to black magic. Because magical staves are exclusive from Iceland and no other country has them and it was pretty cool to pick that and use it to criticize our modern reality. This book includes a collection of staves, spells and rituals to help you get more likes on Instagram, to have a faster Wi-Fi, to become a hit on Tinder, and so on. Criticizing our social behavior, which if, if we think about it, we are just being silly. Now, I'm going to show you just two examples so you may get what this book is all about. Just two examples because I don't want to ruin this book for you. Alright, so let's start with this one. As you can see, it's presented like this. I'm not sure, whoop, the light, all right. It's presented like this. Uh, <laughs> well, supposedly this is the magical stave and its name is Skormanstafur. It's a stave to avoid sleeping with your cousin. And then a little text uh, in how to use it. Carve this stave on a piece of artfiskur, the size of your palm. Coat the carved stave with a mixture of sour milk and sailor. Place the artfiskur in your underwear and leave it there until it becomes one with your skin. You will not sleep with your cousin or anyone else. <laughs> now another one, just one other quick example. Right here, you see the, the magical stave and in here the title, uh, the name of the rune stave and the little text. This one is Skrundonstafur, stave for more friends on Facebook. <laughs> Write this stave on the inside of a hen's egg uh, without breaking the shell. 
Place this hag inside a well-worn sock and hide the sock inside a living cat belonging to a blind fishmonger. You will have more friends. Quite tricky. <laughs> so, as you can see, this is a book using made-up magical staves to criticize a variety of things which are pretty silly in our modern era. It's not just our social behaviors, but how our lives are being managed by all sorts of incompetent politicians, and we are given very entertaining blindfolds to keep us from seeing what's happening around us. And this book criticizes modern problems brought by globalization and also very real pro problems such as this one to avoid sleeping with cousins, which seems silly but unfortunately, since we progressively began to move towards the process of sedentarization, it's generations and generations of the same family members settling in the same cornered areas and this leads to unintentionally having sexual relations with distant cousins and sometimes with very close cousins and that brings all sorts of physical and psychological problems to the offspring and such. Anyway, the purpose of this short video is to warn you that before you get tattooed on your body some symbol you see on the internet that you find cool and pretty, do be careful and try to find out more about it, uh, what, it what it really is and its meaning to avoid having a silly tattoo on your body which is pretty permanent and then you end up regretting it. So yeah, there are loads of magical staves out there for different purposes and many are modern creations with no magical purpose whatsoever or any actual golden work. Alright my dear friends, I hope you have enjoyed this short video and well, do yourself a favor and when you want to tattoo something on your body, please do a quick research or if you want, well, ask me about it. Uh, if I have the knowledge about it, uh, I will gladly help you. Alright, so uh, I don't need uh, magical staves to have more friends or more likes on my social media. If you want to follow me on my other social media, please just go down below into the description and you will find all the links to my various social media. I just don't have a Tinder. So, once again, thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. And as always, bye for the love.